Hey guys, what's up? Hope you all are doing well. So let's start a today's video without any delay. Today let's discuss about angina pectoris. It is defined as discomfort in the chest or adjacent area associated with myocardial ischemia. It is caused by obstruction of the coronary artery causing ischemia but not necrosis or death of heart musculature. Angina pectoris is a common presenting symptom in patients with coronary artery disease. Major types of angina are stable angina, unstable angina and variant angina. Stable angina, it is stimulated by exertion and relieved by rest. It is caused by fixed stenosis in coronary arteries by fat. Unstable angina. It is precipitated by less effort or even at rest. The blood flow is obstructed by both fat and blood clot deposition. Variant angina. It occurs due to vasospasm at rest. Etiology. Angina is due to transient decrease in blood supply to myocardium. It may be due to fixed coronary stenosis, clot superimposed along with coronary stenosis or coronary vasospasm. Angina can also occur when myocardial oxygen demand increases in spite of normal coronary arteries. Example in the cases like anemia, hyperthyroidism, aortic regurgitation or backflow of blood, over exercise, tachycardia, left ventricular hypertrophy, mental and emotional stress, postprandial state, exposure to cold and in a case known as syndrome X. Risk factors include dyslipidemia, there is elevated LDL and cholesterol levels and decreased HDL levels, hypertension, diabetes mellitus, obesity, metabolic syndrome, sedentary lifestyle, smoking, aging, family history, low socioeconomic status, chronic kidney disease, calorie rich diet, psychosocial factors, pathophysiology. Due to atherosclerosis, arterial spasm, atherosclerosis plus plaque, there forms ischemia which results in hypoxia and if left untreated may cause necrosis. There is imbalance between myocardial oxygen supply and oxygen demand. Due to vasospasm, fixed stenosis, thrombosis, there is a decreased coronary blood flow which leads to angina, increased heart rate, increased contractility, increased afterload, increased preload and left ventricular hypertrophy causes increase in oxygen consumption which leads to angina. The patient presenting with angina describes the discomfort as pressing, squeezing, strangling, constricting, busting and burning type of. It usually builds up in 30 seconds and disappears in 5 to 15 minutes. The intensity of pain ranges from mild to severe discomfort. Comfort. Pain radiates to neck, left shoulder, left arm, rarely radiated to jaw, teeth, right arm, back and epigastrium. Clenching of the fist over the sternum while describing the pain is classical sign. Other conditions associated are dizziness, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, cold sweat and fatigue. This is a condition known as angina equivalence. With the patient experiences symptoms like dyspnea, dizziness, fatigue, gastric problems rather than showing classic sign of chest pain. On general examination, tendon xanthoma, xanthelasma, athlete's tendon thickening, locomotor brachialis, where the brachial artery is thickened, tortuous, pulsatile and dilated, and corneal arcus, where the deposition of phospholipids in the periphery of cornea is seen. There is a notable increase in blood pressure and heart rate investigations. Resting ECG. The ECG is normal between the attacks, but during the attacks, there is ST depression and T wave inversion. Exercise ECG. In addition to resting ECG, this is taken to confirm the diagnosis. Where the patient is asked to walk on treadmill and the ECG is recorded continuous. If the ST segment depression of greater than 1 mm is there, it suggests myocardial ischemia or angina. Echocardiogram. Here, the affected ventricle wall does not move properly, known as regional wall motion abnormally. Coronary angiography. Here, a dye is injected and an X ray is taken to check for any artery blockades. Treatment. General management. Patients should be reassured and associated conditions such as anemia, hyperthyroidism, diabetes mellitus, hypertension and hypercholesterolemia should be treated. Smoking should be completely stopped. Regular exercise and low fat diet should be taken. Medical treatment. Glycerol trinitrate. It is taken as tablet or spray. Its peak action is seen at 4 to 8 minutes and lasts for 20 to 30 minutes. If relief is not obtained within 2 to 3 minutes, a second or third dose may be given at 5 minutes interval. Transvernal GTN preparations are also available and their action lasts up to 24 hours. Long-acting nitrates like isosorbyl dinitrate and mononitrate are used for long-term prophylactic therapy. Antiplatelet agents. All patients with angina should be given aspirin unless it's contraindicated in case of allergies. These drugs inhibit platelet aggregation. In contraindicated patients, clopidogrel can be used. Beta blockers. These drugs reduce myocardial oxygen demand by decreasing heart rate and the force of ventricular contraction. Drugs like atenolol, metoprolol, carvedilol are used commonly. ACE inhibitors 
like captopril have shown clinically positive results. Calcium channel blockers like diltiazem and verapamil relaxes the coronary arteries and causes peripheral vasodilation. Nicorandel has both arterial and venous vasodilating properties. Granulazine is a cardioselective anti-ischemic agent. Percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty is a technique of dilating coronary stenosis. It is done by passing an inflating balloon inside the stenosis along with a stent. It is inserted through radial or femoral artery, coronary artery, bypass grafting or bypass surgery. Internal thoracic artery is commonly used for bypassing the blood supply. Long saphenous vein is also used but very rarely. Transmyocardial laser revascularization. Here laser is used to make small holes in the myocardium to allow direct perfusion of myocardium from blood within the ventricular cavity. Proper care and treatment should be taken if not it may lead to heart attack or cardiac failure hope you all have liked this video please do like share and subscribe if you find this informative see you in the next video